What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Now I did a Cristiano Ronaldo review a couple of months ago but since the new update I would say I think Ronaldo is definitely a B still in this game right now if you do have is an older version of his card if you got this Manchester United one or the player of the week one we'll get into that but we'll also show you his standard card right now as well. I think he plays way above his stats his positioning seems to be very unique into how he gets onto second chances, rebounds, interceptions. And you'll just see here so many chances going back over the last couple of weeks, as well as a couple of days on my live stream, um, where he's just in the right place at the right time. All you want when you are playing a goal poacher, right? A lot of people have asked me what's the difference between a goal poacher and something like a fox in a box. They're very kind of similar in terms of once you get into the box here, such as Ronaldo's position in here, you're basically going to be looking to either cross the ball into a tall uh, type of player, such as Ronaldo's finish here, or else you're going to be trying to get him to pounce on any interceptions, rebounds off the keeper, any second chances at all, right? But you've got two attacking Arsenal, uh, or two attacking threats. You've got on the ground or up in the air, right? So my favorite card to use of Cristiano Ronaldo is not this player of the week one. It's not this standard one. It is the United pack that they had a while back last season, right? But you can get Ronaldo for 180,000 GP, which I think if you have GP burning a hole in your pocket, Ronaldo is definitely a player that kind of makes you stand up and notice in the game, right? Anytime I come up against him, I struggle against him, even though his stats don't look that explosive, right? So he does take about 60,000 XP to train up. If you're short on XP, you can grind that with the events. But from here on with Ronaldo, right? 25 levels, you're going to have a base starting stat or uh, overall rating of 85 overall. That's going to go up to 85, 87, 88 with the boost that you're going to get off the manager. And we're going to show you how to train him up in a second. But the biggest thing I like about Ronaldo, lads, is his positioning when you don't have the ball with him, right? So you'll see here, every time that the ball breaks down, Ronaldo's pouncing. He gets in front of the goalkeeper. He gets in front of the last centre back. He's able to finish in the air or finish on the ground. And this is the, this is the best version of Ronaldo that I've used is this club pack. If you've missed out on that club pack, I don't think that it's uh, it's really, you know, comparable with the standard version, but the standard version plays way above his stats. If you're looking at stats versus stats, there is no comparison, which we'll see in a second, but the standard version of Ronaldo can still do bits, and all you want from him is his kind of AI and his player ID of being able to mop up second chances like that. I guarantee you, right, if you're used to playing the likes of Mbappe or the likes of whoever you're used to playing up front, right, kind of like the, the speedsters, if you swap him out for a player like Ronaldo, um, you will definitely get a lot more rebounded goals. Just give it a try. I mean, it's 180,000 GP. I think Ronaldo is still goaded in the game. You will see here that a couple of weaknesses in this card, right? So the biggest thing with this card is that you can't get any stats really into the 90 zone, apart from the attack and awareness. You're not going to have uh, 90 finishing. And we are using 10 Hag, which brings his speed up to 80. But it's still only 84 acceleration within a formation like this. I would probably be using him as kind of my double guy, right? Now, if you have got the 100 overall Cristiano Ronaldo, he is going to be outperforming him on every stat. But I still feel that their stats kind of track up, their play styles kind of track up. So if you've just jumped onto the game and you're thinking, ah, Ronaldo's too slow, just give him a try, man. Speed and acceleration is a very very complex matter because it's handled by a lot of the gameplay changes and the balance of the gameplay changes yes you have a rocket players like Mbappe and stuff that Ronaldo won't be able to compete with but Ronaldo's positioning make the game a little bit easier to score he can score from everywhere some of the players will miss open chances with 90 finishing Ronaldo can score those same chances with 88 finishing right just give it a go just trust me on this I've played so much with Ronaldo He's literally so easy to finish with and so easy to play with. His runs, again, are fantastic. This is another ball back in here. First time snapshot, boom. Again, he runs onto a ball here. He's got loads of time. 2-1 up. Now about to go to 3-1 up. Finesse finishing, power finishing, aerial finishing, volleys, flicks and tricks. He's got it all, right? He's got it all. And the big thing about Ronaldo as well as is his aerial threat. Like, that's a fantastic goal. Most of the time, you need to knock on chances like that with your target man. But Ronaldo is kind of like a go between, between a, you know, being a slow um, Giroud type target man and a mobile Mbappe style player. So again, you'll see another mop up. So let me know what you guys think. I still think Ronaldo is definitely one of the best players in the game to use. Let me know what you guys think. Give him a go, right? And you can blame me if he doesn't work out for you. But other than that, let me know if you want me to do another series or another video in this series where I take a look at players that you might not be using. Is Ronaldo meta? He can be in the right system, right? 
don't always depend on stats especially if you've got standard cards and you're trying to build your squad so until next time guys don't forget to subscribe i'll talk to you in a bit peace